Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Biomedical Sciences presentation for fall term first year students. My name is Dr. Dora Cavallo Medved, and I am a professor in biomedical sciences and also one of the academic advisors. And I'm happy to be here today to help walk you through what your fall term semester is going to look like for all of our first year students. To begin, we'd like to just uh, start with just um, stating what our two major programs are in biomedical sciences. So the first major program that we offer is the Bachelor of Science Honors Biomedical Science. So some of you may be uh, enrolled in this particular program. The second program is the Bachelor of Science Honors Biochemistry and Biomedical Science Health Stream. And so the rest of you will probably be, be registered within this program or enrolled within this program here. So the two programs are similar in the, in the sense that they're both biomedical science programs, but the one major difference is that the second one is a double degree program that is offered together with biomedical science as well as biochemistry. So a couple important notes uh, for today before we get started is that we hope that you utilize this as a resource for you to be able to choose your first year courses and get ready for September. But at the same time, know that we are here to help you out in case you have any questions or if you'd like to speak with an academic advisor in your area. And if that's the case, then we encourage you to email us anytime at biomedsci at uwindsor.ca or you're also free to email us at science at uwindsor.ca for any questions related to the Faculty of Science. The other thing just to point out as well as we go through the slide presentation is that when you see open choice or open option, this means that these are any courses that you can take that will fulfill your degree requirements. Now, you being science students also have to still take courses outside of the Faculty of Science. And so you will have to at some point within your undergraduate uh, journey is to select courses from the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences, which we call FOSS. Um, and there will be options within your first year to select some of these courses. And we'll come back to this a little bit later in the presentation. And finally, I just wanted to make an additional note that in the Bachelor of Science Honors Biomedical Science program, there is also a new stream, additional stream called the Interdisciplinary Health Sciences or IHS stream. So some of you may be within this stream within biomedical sciences. And for you, your, for your fall semester courses will be very similar, will be actually the same as those students who are in the BSc Honors Biomedical Science Program. So just to let you know that if you are in the IHS stream, that you will follow uh, the same protocols as students in the Honors Biomedical Science. All right, so let's get started as to determining what courses you need to be registering for for the fall term. So the first course is the BIOL 1101 cell biology course. Now this is a required course for students in both the honors biomedical science as well as the honors biochemistry and biomedical science health stream. And this is one of two introductory fundamental biology courses that you will be taking in your first year. And so this one is offered in the fall. The second one uh, will be offered later on in the winter semester. But in this course, uh, students will have that introductory uh, examination of principles that govern living systems and spend most of their time learning about the molecular and cellular basis of life. And with this course, there is also a laboratory section. So students will register for both the lecture section, and there's one of two options that students can uh, register for, for lecture, as well as a laboratory section. And there's multiple laboratory sections, sections so you can pick one of those that fits into your schedule. Uh, in total, there are three lecture hours per week with this course, as well as three laboratory hours per week with this course. The second required course is your General Chemistry 1 course. So this is CHEM 1100. Again, this is a required course for both the Honors Biomedical Science students as well as the Honors Biochemistry and Biomedical Science Health Stream 
students. Again, this is one of two introductory fundamental uh, chemistry courses, this one being offered in the fall, the second one will be offered in the winter semester. And again, an introductory to the general concepts of chemistry that you will need to build your foundation to then be able to take further courses in chemistry in the future. The third required course is a math course. And this is one of two options for math courses. They're both calculus options. Uh, the first one is a math 1720 differential calculus. Again, an introductory calculus uh, course that will go into calculus and vectors. And this one is specifically for students who have taken and completed the grade 12 calculus and vectors course. So the MCV for you course. So if you've taken the grade 12 course, then this is the calculus course for you to register for. And again, this is required for both the honors biomedical science as well as honors biochemistry and biomedical science health stream program. Now, if you did not take grade 12 calculus and vectors, then you will not take this course, but instead you would take the math 1760s, functions and differential calculus. The idea is that you will still be learning uh, the same things that is taught in the, 17, the Math 1720 course, but this course has an additional lecture hour per week so that students can become more familiarized and have more time to learn the major concepts within calculus. So again, if you did not take grade 12 calculus and vectors course, this is the course that you will be registering in uh, for your math um, required course, so Math 1760. With both the Math 1720 and Math 1760, there is also one tutorial hour per week that students will be registering for and attending to help work out uh, your math problems and better understand the math concepts that you'll be learning within this course. Now the next set of courses are physics courses. There are two different physics courses that students can register for. The first one is Physics 1400, Introductory Physics. And again, just like the biology and just like the chemistry, there are going to be two introductory physics courses that you're gonna be taking in your first year. This one is offered in the fall and then you'll be taking another one in the winter semester. Now this course over here, Physics 1400, again, being an introductory physics one course, is again going to help you uh, get the general knowledge and concepts for physics that you're going to be required to learn for your biomedical science degree. This course over here, again, is open to both students who are in honors biomedical science, as well as honors biochemistry and biomedical science health stream. There is a second physics course that students could take. However, this course, the second course called Physics 1300, is only offered to students in the Honors Biomedical Science. So if you are in the combined biochemistry and biomedical science, this option is not for you. You only have the option of Physics 1400. So again, those of you who are in the honors biomedical science have the option of either taking physics 1400 or physics 1300. And this one is an introductory physics one for life sciences. So just as a recap for what students should be enrolling in, what courses they should be enrolling in for the fall semester, this slide is again for students who are in the honors biomedical science program. Again, this also includes students who are honors biomedical science interdisciplinary health science stream, so the IHS stream as well. And so the four, or sorry, the five major courses that you should be registering for, the first one again as a recap, BIOL 1101, Cell Biology, Chemistry 1100, General Chem 1, Math 1760, if you do not have grade 12 calculus, or Math 1720, if you do have grade 12 calculus, and then the option of either Physics 1400 or Physics 1300. And again, uh, only the Honors Biomedical Science students have this option of either one of the physics. 
And then finally, your last course is your elective. And this can be a course within the Faculty of Arts, Humanities and Social Sciences or an open option course. So a course, any course that you wish to take anywhere across campus. Now, one of the things with the Faculty of Arts and Humanities and Social Sciences, just to give you some ideas of some of the courses that our biomed students typically take, um, there is the option of our introductory psychology course, which is uh, our PHYS1150. That's a course that's often taken by our biomed students. Another course that our biomed students take is our Effective Writing 1 course, which is GART1500. So that's another potential option that students may take. And the third option that students often take are the ENGL1001, and that is our composition writing course. Uh, again, most of our students or some of our students will take those courses uh, as it helps better prepare them for uh, future health professional uh, programs such as medicine and dentistry uh, or um, chiropractic or veterinary medicine and so on. And so these again are just some of the common courses uh, of optional electives that our students take. The other thing to make note of are the courses that you see here with the asterisks. They also have a lab and or tutorial section that you must also register for. So a lecture and a lab slash tutorial section. So please make sure that you're registering for both of those lecture and lab slash tutorial. So again, this is for the honors biomedical science students. For those students who are in the honors biochemistry and biomedical science health stream, the courses look very similar. So again, you're gonna be taking cell biology, BIOL 1101, general chemistry one, CHEM 1100. Your calculus is again going to either be the math 1760 if you do not have grade 12 calculus or math 1720 if you do have grade 12 calculus. And then for physics, you don't have an option. Uh, the only physics course that you can take is physics 1400. But again, like the other students, you also have your elective course, which again can be in the areas of faculty of in the faculty of uh, arts, humanities, and social sciences, or an open option of any course across campus. And again, the asterisk here refers to those courses also having both a lecture that you have to register for as well as the lab and or tutorial. Now, one thing we just wanna leave you off with are some tips for planning a successful semester for the fall. Uh, many of you coming in as first year students are going to be transitioning into university life and what that means from an academic standpoint, uh, meaning that um, you're going to be transitioning into a new way of learning and developing of your learning skills. And so these are the top 10 tips that I oftentimes give to students with number one, and probably most important being managing of your time. The management of time is gonna be critical for success within university. As many of you know, you're gonna be uh, doing five courses per semester, very different from what you've done in high school and now not only courses with lectures but also courses with labs and tutorials which means additional time that you science students are going to have to be putting in to your academic uh, journey and so managing your time is critical with calendars and reminders and uh, organization of your plan for the semester and not only organization of your time but also organization of your space where you're going to be learning and studying and organization of your mind and organizing all your thoughts and your plans moving forward. This will also help you to plan in advance, which is key and important, knowing when your midterm dates are well in advance, knowing when your assignments are due, knowing when your final exams are going to be planned. And that planning process also helps you to set achievable goals goals that are realistic, goals that you know you can plan for, goals that you know you have a great success for achieving. And in the planning of those goals and setting those goals means preparing and working towards those goals throughout the semester. And that just simply means practice, practice, practice. That means going over your lecture notes that week, the day of, 
uh, keeping on top of your assignments, your laboratory reports, making sure that you're doing them effectively. Um, and again, keeping track of everything that's ahead of you. And to do that means that you must be engaged both in the classroom and outside the classroom. Being engaged and asking questions, ask your professors, ask your GAs, your TAs, the lab coordinators, and ask each other. Be engaged within your student groups, being engaged within student organizations, both within your department, as well as within the Faculty of Science and even beyond across campus. And being engaged means you have to reach out, you have to put yourself out there and um, you know, getting to know people and reaching out when you do have questions, not letting those questions pile up, but instead getting those answers. And finally, taking breaks, being able to sit back, reflect on your journey, reflect on your successes, reflect on the goals that you have achieved and the goals that you're still working towards. And during those moments of reflection, be creative. Think about ways that you can do things differently try new things across campus or even within the classroom. We often think of science as being a very analytical discipline, um, but we know that with science comes a lot of creativity. So don't be afraid to let those creative juices flow and be able to uh, immerse yourself in that creativity and science as well. And finally, that we are here to help and support you along the way and that you've got this. And you're going to be great and successful within the Faculty of Science and across the University of Windsor as well. And finally, as I mentioned, we are here to help and support you in any way that uh, we can. We encourage you to uh, visit the future.uwindsor.ca plan your program page as this provides lots of useful information, including everything that I've said here today in this presentation. And if you want additional information regarding your biomedical science program, please feel free to reach out to us anytime at biomedsci at uwindsor.ca. I thank you all for your attention. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors within the biomedical science program, within the Faculty of Science, and at the University of Windsor. Best of luck and look forward to seeing you all in September. Thank you.